Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. You know, if you're just not coming in, please wipe your view on that welcome mat. Hit that like button, subscribe button. And uh, trolls, only God and your mama can love you. And, uh, you know, one time, one time, yes, sir, one time, one time for the Uncut Squad, one time for the Gifted Family, one time for Big Bro's Corner, one time for Big Bro's Backup, you know, one time for God, and two salutes. We're in the house, all right? It's amazing how a lot of these pastors get away with the antics that they get away with. And it's really been bugging me since I've been paying attention to this specific pastor. No, it's not T.D. Jakes. It is Pastor David E. Taylor. I've done a video on him before when he was begging everyone for money. And y'all, I'm trying to keep it down because again, it's like four something a.m. Okay, four something, 4.07 a.m. All right, so I'm trying to keep it down. But <clears throat> there, these antics, the things that these pastors say and how it's said, and no one seems to call them out on it. So here we go. David E. Taylor thinks he is Nostradamus. This is um off of, you know, I like to wipe my feet on people. Welcome, Matt. You know, give credit where credit is due. So uh, this is actually Apostle David E. Taylor comedy channel. He's got comedy, right? He's got comedy, right? I'm not even going to tell y'all to go subscribe, but that's where y'all can check this, this foolishness out. Listen to this. But at one time, I couldn't even do a three-day fast. And this is when I had the dream about Russia attacking the United States by submarines. And I saw that the trade centers would be bombed before this would happen. And that Russia would pay off terrorists to bomb the trade centers. And I saw the dates when it would happen. That's why I was there on 9, 10, and 9, 11. Can we stop right there for a minute? If I know that something is going to happen somewhere and God has shown me, then that is the last place I'm going to be unless God tells me, hey, go warn people, okay? Go here and go do this specifically. If that's not God's instructions, if God is showing me destruction, why am I running to that? That's like running to a shootout. If you're at a party and you are forewarned that they're going to be fighting and shooting at this party, are you still going? When you hear gunshots, are you running to the gunshots or away from the gunshots? If God really told this man this, then why were you there September 10th and why were you there September 11th? Why? I'm not comfortable with how pastors use God's name to make people believe what they're saying. It's no different from a person saying, I swear, or I put it on everything. You know, it's no different. It's, it's manipulation to make a person believe you. But you know you're lying. The only people who can make these predictions and be 100% correct is God himself <coughs> and the Simpsons. Now, a lot of y'all might laugh because I said the Simpsons, but the Simpsons have predicted lots of things that have actually happened. Go back, do your research. Everything that Simpsons predict comes to pass. I don't know who writes this, how they know, but it just happens. Go back and do your research. Listen, if it's not God, or if I don't see it on the Simpsons, there's no way. But, you know, let's let them talk. I knew the dates, and I told different leaders in America for 10 years, the trade centers are going to be bombed. They laughed at me. I told them that the trade centers would be bombed. And on 9, 10, and 9, 11, I was there walking around the day before and the day 9, 10, and 9, 11. Now, this, I'm not saying he's lying because resources say that he was there. But if you've been warning the government about this and certain religious, religious leaders about this for 10 years, let's just say religious leaders. I think I heard him say other religious leaders. Um, 
Nobody called the FBI. No one was interested. Did you call the FBI? Did they not investigate you? You know, why are they laughing? Because you sound crazy? Why are they laughing? And these are just questions that I have. Why would other religious leaders who are known prophets laugh at you because you said God have shown you this? Let's let them talk. All the way to 9-11 in the morning, 7 o'clock. I was staying in New Haven, Connecticut, two hours outside of New York. And I had them take me two hours there just so I could prophesy to them. That's when I dreamed about 9-11 and 9-10. 9-11, 9-10 when I was up there. And you want to know what, what Americans told me? For 10 years, I want you to know this. For 10 years, before all of these thousands of people died in the trade centers, for 10 years, I tried to talk to America. Now, I was a young preacher. I was a fly by night when I was up there and they did their research and found out that I was there on 9, 10, 9, 11. And I wasn't having a meeting up there. I was having a meeting in, in New Haven, Connecticut. But they verified that I was there. And that's when Sid Roth interviewed me and everybody began to know me and listen to me. That's when I had governmental officials come to me and say to me, you know, we want to hear what you have to say. I said, now let me tell y'all something about David E. Taylor. Let me refresh your memory. This is the same pastor who stood in the pulpit and told everyone, don't spend your money on Jordans and Nikes. Bring your money to me. If you have an IRA, if you have a checkings, if you have a savings, if you have a 401k, you need to empty that out and sow a seed and send it to me. This is the same guy that was telling people, basically, don't pay your rent, pay me. He didn't care about anything else. Anything else. Same guy. Same guy who faced charges for tax fraud. Same guy who, who faced charges for, uh, what was it? Sexual manipulation. You know, same guy who's been under investigation about spending the church's finances at JMMI. Same guy who dresses in Louis Vuitton, $5,000 belts, $7,000 shoes, spending $30,000, $130,000 at Louis Vuitton, shopping for clothes with donors' money. Same guy who purchased a 10-bedroom mansion from a former Tampa Bay Bucks player. You know, and I notice I'm going to do a series of videos on this guy because he has my extreme interest now. This guy, in order to get people to believe him, he always say God came to him in a dream. I have heard this guy say that God gave him the same keys and the same anointing that God gave Moses, that he's basically the first line of, of, of how did he say it? Basically on earth. He's number one under God, basically is how he put it. You know, he be the go-to guy is basically how he put it. I'm going to play these videos for you. So this isn't me just speculating. I'm actually going to play these videos for you, but I'm going to do it in a series. Let's get some more of this guy, and then I'll leave it to you guys to tell me what you think. Said Russia is planning a full-scale war against America. They're building the biggest submarine fleet in the world. Russia is planning a nuclear war against America. America will lose, and we will lose our freedom, and we will be under a communistic nation. The submarines. Listen to where they're going to hit. I am not lying to you guys. I was asleep, and all of a sudden, I was airlifted up high over America, and Jesus was already standing there. He airlifted me all the way up to where he was. He had on a white robe. I'm not lying to you. You sure Jesus didn't have on a blue robe, a pink robe, a red robe, a gray robe? Are you sure? Why would you just pick white? Did he have on a black robe? I wonder what would make him say Jesus had on a white robe. But anyways, it's his dream, his lie. I mean, his dream. Let's let him tell it. We stood in midair and he just, he didn't do nothing. He didn't say nothing. We saw Russian nuclear missiles just, I'm sorry, just float right. So you didn't hear a voice of many waters? You didn't see fiery red eyes? You didn't see 
brown skin is if burnt in a bronze skin is if burned in a fiery furnace? You didn't see a hair of wool? He never said anything? Are you sure it was Jesus? You know, the devil is a shapeshifter. The devil can lie to you. I'm just saying. Let's go. He passed us in front of us. One of them hit Southern California. The other one hit Northern Florida. And this guy has a home in Northern Florida. Buys 8.3 million Tampa mansion. Church of Evangelist David E. Taylor, who has been accused of running a cult, buys Florida mansion. Pastor David E. Taylor's church buys $8.3 million mansion from Tampa Bay Buccaneers co-owner. A Michigan church appears to be the buyer of a palatio of Villa estate sold by Tampa Bay Buccaneers co-owner Darcy Glazier. I'm not going to mess with that last name. Yes, I am. Kasowitz and her husband. They're going to hit North Florida? Hmm. Millions will die. It won't just be thousands like at the trade centers. It's going to be millions. You all going to die. How many remember Hiroshima, the atomic? They are, you all going to die. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. We going to live because we saved and we're protected by the glory of God. However, this guy, I'm going to be back to do more videos on him. I definitely don't want to play this whole clip. I want to get to that part about him being airlifted. Y'all, I'm going to drop this link in the description box. Pull out your phones and go to David E. Taylor. Look this guy up because I'm going to do a series of videos. Let me know what you think about this guy. Is this more exposure in the pulpit? Is it more prosperity preaching? Is it more lies and manipulation? And people, stop giving these pastors your money. And I'm going to play the clip when he was in court. And he was being questioned about the money that you guys are giving him and how he's spending it and cutting the tops off of Mercedes Benz's. Oh, you don't have to believe me. I'll be back with the receipts. With that being said, y'all get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one. Get y'all one-on-one. That's right. No uncut jury. is too early in the morning, 4, 18 a.m., you know. But stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great, be you, and um, don't be um. We are just now recovering. I can't let that happen again. I saw. Don't be fooled by the fake crying. Don't be fooled by the fake crying. Okay. Don't be fooled. I saw people die at the trade centers before it happened. But you didn't stop nobody. You just didn't stop nobody. You still let him die. You still let him die. And you knew, Mr. Nostradamus, you knew. Black Nostradamus, how could you? You could have made a difference. You failed your assignment because God showed you. And you did not act. Do y'all like my fake crying? Am I better than this guy? But I knew something bigger than that is coming. <clears throat> And I said, God, I failed you the first time. I didn't know how to get through to this country. Oh, he admitted it. Ah, Shay.